everyone, welcome back to my channel. Coming up on November 8th, we have National STEM or STEAM Day. And you know that I have some amazing books to share with you to celebrate this day in your classroom. Now, I had a hard time narrowing it down because there were so many good ones, and I have a lot to share with you today. But I had so much fun giving away a book last week that I thought I'd do it again this week. So make sure you stick around to the end and I will be giving away one of the books that I share in this video and I'll give all the details at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. But first, if you're new here, my name is Sarah and I show up on this YouTube channel every Sunday night with read aloud tips and book ideas that you can use in your classroom that week. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below. Now, let's talk about STEM or STEAM in the classroom. This day in November really inspires students to explore and pursue interests in science, technology, engineering, art, and math. While we can also celebrate that all year long by incorporating it into our classroom throughout the year. Studies have shown that by introducing STEM to children at a young age, improves their development in other areas as well, such as rational thinking and social emotional skills. So really, this is an amazing thing to share with your students. Okay, let's jump into the books that I have to share with you today, all about STEM or STEAM. So I'm sure you are all familiar with the popular toy, the Super Soaker the fun water activity that kids love to play with, especially in the summertime. But did you know that it was invented by accident? Well, you and your students can learn all about it in the book, Whoosh. In this story, we learn about Lonnie Johnson, who created new cooling systems for ACs and refrigerators. And he truly had a passion for problem solving. And this book really goes through how he developed one of the top 20 most popular toys of all time. And even though this book is upbeat, it doesn't undermine the trials and tribulations that Lonnie faced during the civil rights movement. So there's a lot to share with your students in the book Whoosh, a great one for talking about STEAM in the classroom. The next book that I have is Malia and Joe. In this book, Malia is scientific and she loves to create things in her backyard lab, but something is missing and she can't quite put her finger on it. Then walks in Joe, who loves to be artistic. And the two kids realize that when you add arts to science, something truly magical happens. Throughout the book, they learn to accept each other's strengths and realize that working together makes them both better. A great story to share with your class. The next book that I have is one of my favorites, Mr. Ferris and His Wheel. As you can tell from both the title and the picture, it is about the invention of the Ferris wheel. In this story, we learn how George Ferris defies gravity and the impossible to invent the world's most iconic attraction. Readers are transported back to the 1893 World's Fair, where passengers are lifted into the sky for the first time. But before that, we learn everything that Mr. Ferris goes through in order to make this Ferris wheel come to life. Your students, especially if they've been on a Ferris wheel, will really enjoy learning about everything that went into creating this for the first time and will appreciate it that much more. Such an inspiring story. Next, I have Rocket Says Look Up. In this story, a meteor shower is going to be visible from Earth and Rocket wants everyone to see it. But this aspiring astronaut realizes that they're so caught up in their lives and what's on their phones and on their computers. And she really wants them to get outside and truly see nature. Rocket has such a passion for science and an intense curiosity that she will inspire the young scientists in your classroom to look up as well. The next book that I have to share, I think is my favorite of the bunch. And it does remind me of Mr. Ferris and his wheel. This one I have shared before, Balloons Over Broadway. In this book, we learn the true story of the puppeteer behind the Macy's Day Parade. And I know so many of your students probably watch that parade on Thanksgiving Day and this will give them a glimpse behind the scenes. I shared more about this in my Thanksgiving books video that you can watch. I'll leave it linked um, down below so that you can check it out and also grab the free interactive read aloud that goes along with it so that you can share it with your students in the month of November 
and have a chance to talk about STEAM topics as well. The next STEM book that I have is called Galimoto. In this book, we're transported to Africa where Kandi is determined to make a Galimoto. And we learn that a Galimoto is a toy vehicle made of wires. His older brother laughs at him, but Kandi knows that he can do it and he sets his mind to creating one of these on his own. This is a great story of perseverance and determination and your students will definitely enjoy this heartwarming tale and may even be inspired to create one of their own. And speaking of determination and perseverance, Izzy Gizmo is another great example of that, as well as grit and hard work and growth mindset. All of those things come into play in this story. Izzy learns that inventions don't always work, but that you need to keep at it. And the rhyming verses and joyful illustrations in this book really add to the story and is great for promoting girls in the field of STEAM or STEM. A fun one to share in your class. This next one is simple, but I think your students will really like it. This one is called The Dreamer. In this book, a pig admires the birds and really wants to join them in flight. So he develops flight plans and builds all these experimental contraptions. And you'll have to read the story with your students to find out what happens. But this is another great book for dreaming big, setting goals, and having that determination. The next books that I wanna share with you are a series of chapter books. And these ones are called Zoe and Sassafras. And my daughter loves these books. There are currently eight in the series and number nine is coming out in just a few days on November 16th. In these books, there's a young girl who is super curious and loves science. And in each story, a magical creature appears and needs her help and she uses real science to help each one of these creatures. These books are great for blending fantasy and real world science together and again, promoting STEAM concepts, especially with the young girls in your classroom. And the last two books that I have, I just happened to stumble upon when I was at the library grabbing the other books to share in this video. So I have even more than I had planned when I originally started creating this video. The first one I have is Made by Maxine. Maxine is a maker. She loves creating new things from old things. And her best friend is Milton, and Milton is a goldfish. And that makes it a little difficult for him to participate in the school pet parade. But Maxine is determined to include him in this parade and she might be able to figure out how to make that happen. A fun book for your class to share during National STEM Day. The last book that I have is The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. In this autobiographical book, we learn about William living in a drought ravaged Africa and how he is able to bring electricity and running water to his poor community. A powerful and inspiring book with some amazing illustrations to go along with it. The thing that I love about STEM or STEAM books is not only are they really interesting to read, but they promote perseverance, determination, growth mindset, and hard work in your students. And your kids can see that not everything's going to work the first time, that these inventions take time. And not only will they apply it to science concepts, but any areas in their life. If something doesn't go right the first time, to try it again, pick up the pieces, try something different. So these are such motivational books. And because of that, I wanna give a lucky teacher their choice of one of the books that I shared today in this video. If you would like to win one of these books, all you need to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel. In the comments below, let me know which one of the books that I shared today you would like to win for your classroom library. I will be picking a winner at the end of the week, so make sure that you leave your comment right away. I can't wait to see which one of these books is your favorite. I hope that you'll get to share some of these books with your class either this week for National STEM Day or throughout the year in your classroom. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button below because I'll be back next week with more read aloud tips and book ideas for you to share in your classroom right away. Have a great week.